Let's first look at the intuition behind the multiplier process. So let's use the 2007 Great Recession as example. So in Chapter 9, we watched the video about how the 2006 to 2007 Great Recession happened in the U.S. So it mainly caused by the housing market. So from 1998 to 2006, actually the housing price has risen dramatically. And this surge in house price has increased household wealth by trillions of dollars and prompted home builders to construct more new homes every year. However, when the economy reached to July 2006, and actually the home price stopped rising, so this alerted the real easters. And what they did uh, is they, are, they lose the expectation about the future market. So they don't look a look, uh, bright future for the housing market. So the first thing they did is they reduced the investment. So the, uh, the result for reducing the investment is it will directly affect the product market. So investment losing and then the production re reducing. And also the sale will decrease too. And if the sale decreases and directly affect the business, so in order to make profit, uh, keep the profitability, the best thing for the business to do is reducing the employer and reduce the wages. So think about these two actions taken by the business. So actually, it will directly affect the factor market, uh, which all of us will contribute to this market after your graduation. That is, will offer the labor. So the labor will not. Uh, able to get as much as wages they can and also many of the laborers they cannot find jobs so increased employment rate so increasing employment rate will directly actually impact each household so maybe for three people three person household maybe used to be mother and parents or both have job now we only have one have job or both parents uh, uh, salary are reduced and then what happened is since the income reduce and the disposable income will decrease too which will directly have an impact on consumption so the consumption decrease and so it will directly have an impact on the production again so the production decrease and the production is cut back and so which directly affect the business and then will again to impact the income and the income decrease and the consumption decrease so you can see the economy will start to into this bad circle and this bad circle starting from the decrease of the investment. So if you think about classic economists, what they believe is if the market is out of balance, which is on an equilibrium, actually based on the market mechanism, it should be come back. But based on this multiplier process, we see once the investment decrease and it will start a bad circle, the investment decrease and the product left over and production cut back and the income decrease and consumer spending decrease, and then it keeps going on and on and on and on. At a certain point, we stopped. So this is called the multiplier process. So if we look at the opposite direction, so if the investment by chance, we got a chance to increase, and you know, which will shift the aggregate demand curve to the right. So you will see the inventory actually start to deplete it. So which means the supply will smaller than the demand. So that will push the price goes up, and then this gives the motivation to the import, to the business and the firms to produce more. So what you're gonna see on the production market product market is the production is increased, and increase the product means the business need to hire more people, and that the labor become more scarce resources. And then the employee need to pay more wages in order to get the laborers. And then the income will increase and uh, directly affect the factor market. So if employee get income increase for each household, they will have more disposable income. And the consumption will increase. And consumption increase will increase the demand on the production market. And will be more profitable for the producer to produce more. So on this opposite direction, so the economy will start a good cycle. So... That is what Keynes uh, proposed. So if we will be able to stimulate the demand a little bit, actually we actually possibly to boost economy back to the right direction. And so later we'll use the mathematical way to understand what is multiplier and how can we use multiplier to quantitatively to analyze what is the, the loss and the gain of the economy.